Welcome back to Doc Saying Stuff by AHSM. We've spoken about syphilis before, so we're gonna talk about how to treat it. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is one of the most medically wrong incidents in the history of the United States. Back in the day, once we discovered that organisms led to disease, in fact, the presence of the organism activated the immune response, which led to a disease, no one really knew about the exact stages of disease. What happened first, second, third, fourth, fifth? In regards to one particular infection, syphilis, we knew it was a sexually transmitted infection, but the United States Public Health Service wanted to find out the stages of disease. How did they do that? Well, starting in 1932, the Public Health Service, in collaboration with the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama, enrolled 600 African-American sharecroppers. 399 had latent syphilis, and 201 didn't have syphilis. They were given free medical care in exchange for enrolling in the study, which is ridiculous because they were deliberately not cared for, at least the ones with syphilis who were also never told they had syphilis, even though we knew about it. The experiment was supposed to last six months, but it lasted 40 years. The study continued until 1972, when someone leaked the presence of the study to the press. Remember, the therapy for syphilis is quite simple. It's penicillin. That was discovered in 1928 and widely available by 1947. By 1972, 28 people directly died from syphilis, but 100 died from complications of the infection. 40 wives were infected and 19 children had congenital syphilis. What the hell did they do? Nothing. Again, all the individuals infected were black. Bill Clinton was actually the first US president to apologize for this incident. And it's ridiculous, but as we all know, it wasn't the first time that blacks were mistreated medically, and it's not gonna be the last. There's countless examples, but we're sticking with syphilis today, so let's talk about that infection. Syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by a spirochete, Trepanema pallidum. Individuals infected typically follow a disease course divided into primary, secondary, latent, and tertiary stages over a period of greater than or equal to 10 years. Yeah, you can have this infection living inside of you for that long. Primary syphilis, these individuals are gonna have a canker sore or multiple lesions on the genitals or other body sites involved in sexual contact three weeks after the initial infection. They're painless and may resolve spontaneously, so you may just leave it alone and be like, it went away. But there's also likely some regional lymphadenopathy. This can lead to secondary syphilis if it's not treated, and usually this happens six to eight weeks after primary syphilis, and you're gonna have a fever, a headache, a macular papular rash on the flank, shoulders, arms, chest, or back with involvement of the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. After primary and secondary syphilis, symptoms may subside. If they're gone, you have latent syphilis, which may last many years, like a lot of those men in Tuskegee. 15 to 40% of people may develop tertiary syphilis, which is destructive cardiac or neurological conditions with potential bony involvement. That is, the spirochete gets in the brain or gets on the heart, can cause heart block, and can cause your nerves not to work very well. Your heart and brain are gonna be severely affected. Diagnosing syphilis is clinical. By seeing the canker sores followed by the rash or simply performing typical microbiology tests when you think about it, looking for evidence of the organism within your body. The preferred treatment is really easy. It's penicillin G, 2.4 million units intramuscular. But if you're allergic to penicillin, we're gonna use doxycycline, 100 milligrams by mouth, twice daily for two weeks, or tetracycline, 500 milligrams by mouth, four times a day for two weeks. It's very unfortunate that I can tell you about the stages of syphilis due to racism and the mistreatment of my own people. But we do want individuals to be informed about the diagnosis and the easy management. Thanks for joining Doc Saying Stuff by AHSM. Subscribe, like, and a low can I. We'll see you next time.